Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. That is such a long title. I don't even say the square pants part. So last time- Ooh, scary dark cave. Last time we made it here with Patrick and Plankton told us we'd probably get some sort of new ability or something by going in here, so I guess we're gonna head in here. Pretty sparkly thingy. Probably don't want to hit that Patrick, I'm fairly sure it would cook you. <clears throat> Remember the episode where you guys went on land and they said that they cooked you guys and you would get sold in a, uh, like, gift shop? Yeah. Of course, I don't know- I don't know if you can cook a starfish. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can make it. Oh! You bounce off water? So I can make it over there? Oh, no, you just bounce away. Okay, well, I don't think I can make it over there. I can throw this, though. Boom. Yeah, and this kind of just magnet over to me. I think it was 3k that we needed to buy the um, spatula from Mr. Krabs. So I guess we can do that now. Yay. So. Boom. Wow, you got quite a throwing arm, Patrick. That was a pretty far throw. Thank you very much. What you got, sign? Yeah, he can- yeah, remember, he can throw him. Make sure you throw it before it wilts. Now let's go get Patrick impaled, impaled by wooden spikes that some crazy mastermind made over here. Good presents. Indeed they are, Patrick. Indeed they are. Corks. Interesting. I- I can't jump, right? Yeah, so I just have to throw it over there. And then I guess we toss it at you. Alright, well, cool, I guess. Even though we didn't really need those. It was more effort than it was worth. Alright, spikes, go away. Huh? Jump. Okay. <laughs> I was a bit worried about that one, because I kind of rushed it a bit. When I probably shouldn't have rushed it. Who built these? Who's trying to keep me out? What kind of evil mastermind is doing this? There we go. I wanted just to get all of this. That was the best way to do it. The weight of throw fruit uh, will also activate pressure plates. Okay. Interesting. Are you sure it's a throw fruit? It looks just like a watermelon to me, but I... I guess how would watermelons be underground? I mean, under... underground. <laughs> Underwater. Um... Was there a point in this? Whatever. Patrick can also jump on throw fruit. Oh! He may stack throw fruit as well by throwing a throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. This will allow Patrick to reach even higher places. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll admit I didn't think of that. It's such a small item, I didn't think it would actually give me a noticeable enough boost for it to matter. But you know what? Dole and I look stupid right now. There we go. Okay, so we just have to toss them over there, on top of each other. Stack them, stack them, stack them. We stack them, then they snack them. If you get that, then you're awesome. Uh, jump! And... Ooh. Oh, jeez, I should have double jumped there. Fits quite right. Okay, you're okay, so you're just wearing SpongeBob's underwear and that's your health bar. Disgusting. This is a Freezy Fruit. Patrick can pick up Freezy Fruit and throw it. Freezy Fruit will temporarily freeze goo. Patrick can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Okay, so that's the whole deal with this area. Oh, hey, it's the kid. Hi, kid. I remember that kid. Boom. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to pick it up, not- I thought I was, like, knocking it in. Go, Patrick. You gotta recover your sock. Is that all that's over here? There's a purple one of these things over there. I don't really think it's worth going over there to get it, though, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think we're in any tro- any worries of, like, not having enough currency. Patrick belly flops near robots, you can damage or stun them. Small robots can, will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. Boom. Massacre them with your girth, Patrick. Don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. There we go. 
Well, you look like you got defeated by the belly flop pretty, pretty damn easily. Hey guys, boom. All right. Well, now that I now I know those. Whoops. Ow. How am I supposed to get that? There. Oh, there's one of these fruit. Okay. Never mind. I was like, wait, am I, do I have to come back for that? But no, there's there's one of these fruit right here. I just have to be very very fast, and I can't get hit. I imagine. Uh, get up there. Oh, that destroys the fruit, though. Well, damn. What does the sign say? Patrick may also use throw fruit to defeat robots. That's all it says. Hmm. Let's see if I can get up there and just kind of dodge them. He won't throw the fruit anywhere but at them, though. That's the problem. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and- Ooh, okay. That sign is what was useful. Okay, so pick you up. Damn it. No. Get stunned. Get stunned. Uh. I'm gonna die. <laughs> what? I was so close to you. Get stunned. You do it is just proximity, right? That's what stuns them? I thought that's what it- okay, there we go. Pick it up. Throw. Boom. There we go. That's all I needed to do. We got a golden spatula out of it. Good job, Patrick. I'm very proud of you. And so are your parents, not parents. If you remember them. Goodbye. There we go. And now that I know these are actually a level transition, I won't make the mistake of walking up to them and just being like, oh, okay, I guess it's a wall. Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Oh, God. Yes, Mr. You're like Mr. Krabs with the sea. You're not the real Mr. Krabs. You're Mr. Krabs with the sea. I'm just gonna go with that. You're his evil brother. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. I do not enjoy calling someone's asshole a poop deck. I, I mean, it is, but... I don't enjoy that terminology. <laughs> oh, it's harder sauce. <laughs> it just has a picture of a squirrel. Well, no, Patrick. Well, they only hate tartar sauce because that's something that you put on seafood once it's cooked, right? Like, that's- that's the logic. So why does Sandy hate it? Or is the logic just that tartar sauce sucks? Because I could see that being the case. Die. How dare you laugh at me. Wait as a whistle. There we go. Present everyone. Yeah, what is the deal with these shiny things? I, I, like, I don't re much better. Oh, hey, health. I don't recall these ever being a thing in Spongebob. So, like, the golden spatula is, but these... These things, I don't think are. So, I wonder if this was something that was just made for the game. Oh, hey, it's that dude. Yeah, I like how they use a lot of the characters from the show. Ow. Die for your transgressions. Stupid jellyfish. Boom. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Ooh, it's Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Okay, that is her voice actor. Cool. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. That's funny. All right, what was over here? Um, I don't think there's anything I can do with that. I think it's just something I can destroy if I want to, basically. And here's the island you're talking about. You said it was in the water, didn't you? Which seems to me like a problem. No, ow. You jerk. Go away. Said they throw it in the water. I don't 
see it in the water, though. I was kind of thinking for a second, maybe I had to stun these enemies and throw them at something again, but... I don't see anything to throw them at. So... I guess we're just going to ignore this for now. See if, see if there's something down the line maybe we can do with it. Or at the very least, I could destroy that thing. This is a shh tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. Sneak, move the left stick gently, or push left trigger. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything to throw at it. So we're going to switch to SpongeBob. Okay, so I got to sneak up on him. Yeah, there we go. Smack. Go away. No, come back, shh, tikis. Die. And jump. I feel like a new sponge. Okay, so all you have to do is just be holding down left trigger at all. Like you can jump around and do whatever else you want otherwise. Just my size. Take that. Ow. Ow, go away, jerk. There, I'm just gonna nuke your spawn point. How's that feel? Oh great, the tartar sauce guy. Go away. Ow. So you have to hit those twice to actually finish them off. Is that somewhere I can actually walk or is this out of bounds? This is out of bounds. All right, so we can't destroy that thing. We cannot. So there must be something going on over there. there. There's a reason that they're infinitely spawning enemies right there. So the only thing I can think of is Patrick needs to throw them at something. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I can stun them and see what exactly that does. Okay, two of them got stunned. No. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. So it's hidden in here somewhere. There we go. So yeah, I just have to keep stunning the enemies. All right, that makes sense. I just, I, I didn't think of at the time that these things would actually be targetable, but they are. Ow. I'm gonna die trying to do this. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Patrick died. Rest in peace, Patrick. Okay, well, at least I'll let HP respawn. So I can do this again, except better this time. Alright, shoot him at me. Duplicatron. Alright, all of you gang around. Oh. There we go. There we go. So get over there. And you. Whoop. I missed the chance to grab him. There we go. Boom. Okay, where's- okay, it must be in this one, then. Okay, I gotta heal up now. Ow. Jerk. There we go. So, nope, don't throw it at him. Throw it at that thing. Thank you. Alright, and that just made it spawn, I guess? Destroying all these boxes? If only it had just been here in the first place. This would have been so much easier. But no, I had to destroy the debris in the water to get it to spawn. Alrighty, well, either way that worked out. So I'm guessing it wants us to play as Spongebob for this part, so I am going to switch back to him. Alright, Spongy Bob, let's go. Smack, smack. Yeah, wow, I wish I would have realized this about these things before. Because uh, I was like, how do I how do I do anything with those? I just didn't try holding left trigger. Tartar sauce? Why did he why did he say it like that? Don't they always just call it tartar sauce in the uh, show? Why did he say it all weird like tartar sauce? I feel like a new sponge. Sounds like Reptar's weird cousin, Tartar. All right, well, what's up here? Besides more underwear, I guess. Yay. Also, I killed myself. Sorry, SpongeBob. Uh, where, where is this? 
Oh, it's just right here. Okay. So this is, yeah, where, where I just was. Haha, I'm gonna blow you up. Boom. Especially when they kill my enemies. Dude, you picked a bad area to hang out in. Is there a reason to go over there? I guess so. No. Quit that. There we go. So Bob could, should come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble move. Okay. I can't guarantee I'm going to remember all these, like, come back later things, but I guess I could look on the, uh, the little menu here. It tells you, you know, all the things you're missing. Navigate the canyons and mesas. Wait, is that... Is that just a... No. Okay, what is... Does that mean I haven't gotten the one there? Why is it revealed then? I've not yet received this task. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that means I've been given the the task by somebody. It was Mr. Krabs, but I just missed it. You may use this teleport box once both have been opened up. Yeah. Well, let's see what's uh, at that teleport box, because maybe it takes me back to Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I think I just ignored Mr. Krabs' tasks. Oh, both of them haven't been opened up. Okay. I thought the box wouldn't open until it actually had a destination to teleport to. That was a neat little interaction there. Alright, so we will have to go back to Mr. Krabs and grab that thing from him. Which, I don't, I don't even know if we could do it yet. I think I was, uh... Just kind of ran past it without thinking about what exactly he actually told me to do. Oh, go away, go away. And you die. Those guys are pretty easy to kill if you just kind of rush them. Like, if you just keep running at them, it's not that bad. Yeah, okay, so those can only be destroyed by the tiki thing. That's probably exactly what that sign says. The thunder tiki is what I mean by tiki thing. I don't know why I didn't explain that better. Oh, cool. This is where we were over here. Ow. Yeah, you guys think that's so funny, huh? Okay. It, it is a little annoying. I'll give you that. There we go. Whoa, that was a lot of those things. Jeez. You've got about a billion of them now. Not actually, but close. Are you going to come back up? Yes, you are. Huh? I didn't know that was going to go back down, though. Okay. Huh. Wasn't ready for that. I didn't know the other one was going to recede too. I thought only one did it. We're just going to run past you guys. Because there's not much of a reason to fight you. Because you're just kind of stuck over here. And I've already fought you once. I will blow up all these again to get like a billion of those things though. <laughs> Die. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, so what what does this do for me? Is this just a shortcut? Looks like it might be. Oh wait, is this where Mr. Krabs was? I think it is. Ooh. Okay, that leads to like a whole new zone. Mr. Krabs was over there, wasn't he? I think he was. Hmm. Do I wanna do I wanna risk going over there though? <laughs> or trying to go over there? Oh well there's a sock. How do I get up there though? I don't think I can. Yeah, that jump isn't quite enough to get me up there. And you can't you can't do the little like this thing if you do a double jump. It'd be nice if you could, but no. Hmm. Oh, that's how you get up there. Okay, so it's not even it's not even that. Well, I'm gonna go this way first. Oh yeah, I made the same mistake last time. Ugh. Yeah, how are you supposed to do this? 
Do you have to do it, like, right when this one comes up? Yeah, I think that's the case. Okay, so now we get up there. Cool. I don't even know where this leads, really. Is it just to some of these? Seems to be the case. Well, that was much more of a difficult platforming challenge than it should have been. And I died. <laughs> Alright, so it just took me back here. Cool. Alright, well I don't think I want to do this yet. I want to go remind myself what exactly Mr. Krabs wanted us to do. Because he was just right over here, right? And if he wasn't, then I will just cut back to me walking all the way over there. Okay, yeah, he is here. What are you waiting for, boy? Sir, yes, sir. Oh, he's just telling me to get the king jellyfish. Um, okay. I remember mentioning, like, robots the first time or whatever, but whatever. I'll, I'll meet you back over where I was. Like a spring breeze. Alright, here we are back over here. Didn't take that long. Yeah, we must, yeah, we have to get over there to that sock by getting up higher. So let's just go ahead and do that. I was thinking maybe we, it would connect it from here, but no. We don't get enough height over here. Hmm. Well, I can't do anything with that. And the bus stop's all the way down there? So I'm not going to change back to Patrick right now. So we're just going to continue in this area as Spongebob and hope that we don't need Patrick for some sort of important collectible. Just push that boy into the water. Rest in peace. There's another sock. Kind of just all over the place here. Yeah, I see a lot of the melons, but... Yeah, there's not a bus stop. I would have to go all the way back down there to switch. That's just not happening. Ow. Please don't do that. And don't laugh at my pain. It's impolite. And... boom. Thank you. I feel like a new sponge. And now we can jump over here and get these. This reminds me of the level in, um... Uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I think it's Tilt Slam Bam is what it's called. It's the one where you have to shoot, like, the giant weird duck things. You have to, like, knock them off the thing and send them flying. Whoop. Smack. Smack. There we go. Thanks for the free... I almost said cash, but no, shiny things. Thanks for the free shiny things. And boom. Alright. Ultra combo. Kind of a badass. Goodbye, sir. Have a fun trip! Hello, boxes. You all creepily stare at me and I don't like it. I don't enjoy it one bit. This is where that sock was, right? Yeah! Hello, sock. Alright, so we have ten of those now. That, that was how many Patrick wanted back. Curious to see what the deal with that is. Also, there's a... There's a freeze cube right here? Why? A freeze fruit? Not a cube. It's a cube, so I called it a cube, but no. Am I supposed to take that up here? Why, though? Well, there's the bus stop. And jump. Okay, that was almost weird. I almost fell there. Whoops. Ow. Quit that. You jerk. Just I just hate how they laugh at my pain when they when they smack me in the face. I mean it, it makes them easy to kill, but it hurts my feelings, man. Boom. Done. Okay, so now we probably want to switch to Patrick. It's giving us the option to... SpongeBob can jump up walls when the symbol appears. Jump against the wall and press A to jump again. Never mind. Never mind. Screw me. That is not what we want. Okay, let's switch back to SpongeBob then. So is I supposed to be going through that whole prior area as Patrick? Then? Which sucks. Whoops. 
So let's do our Mario wall jumps. Boom. But only where there's arrows. SpongeBob doesn't know how to do it anywhere else. What are you, crazy? Die. Thank you. I don't know what make- what- why just having a bottle of tartar sauce on their back makes these guys stronger. They take two hits. They are empowered- 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 empowered by the tartar sauce. Okay, so let's just check. So yeah, we're only missing two spatulas in the area. Cool, so we did get that one that uh, Mr. Krabs was talking about. Well, I'm happy Bubble to hear buddy. that. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Bubble Buddy, you're here. How is the Bubble Bubble Holics Anonymous going? Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. All right, Bubble Buddy, you're you're all right. But do I do I actually have to sneak or no? I imagine I do, or he'll like. Do something to me? Why is there a shower curtain peanut butter? I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> Slap him? Okay, we can stop sneaking. Ow. Okay, that was pain. Okay, it looks like he has three hits. We are working on the three hit rule here. Boom. And there's one hit down. Slap him again. What are you doing? Oh, you're just shooting out jellyfish? Well, that's not too much trouble. <laughs> he just met the Spongeinator. Oh boy. That is a reference and a half. Ow. Man, I'm, I'm bad at timing that. Alright, let's go over here and grab some new underwear. Just do it again, buddy. Okay, let's just, yeah, staying as far away from him as possible is probably the best way to handle that. At least we get HP dropped each time that happens. <gasps> There's more blues! I thought there was only one blue jellyfish. But he's he's created more. He's too powerful. He's mass- ow. Okay, that one came out pretty fast. He's mass producing super soldiers. Alright, just do it again. I'm trying to clear out your friends here, but... Okay, there he goes. Okay, timed it correctly that time. <laughs> He's saying so many horrible things about me in his language. Get the jelly. Alright, yeah, that's all we needed. I don't remember if in the show he had a voice or not. I, I'm pretty sure he did, and I think that might have been it. I'm not positive, though. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but... It sounded like it might have been it, or at least it was very close. Alright, we're tongue surfing again. Oh, come on, how did I miss that? Oh wait, no, I got it, cool. Ow. Wait, those were like the sneaky totems. Can can you sneakily slide? Is that even a thing? Okay, I guess I guess they're just there for I, I don't know why. Oh wait, no. You can sneakily slide. Ooh, and I even managed to get that. Okay, so there's one final spatula hiding here, I do believe. Defeat King Jellyfish. Wait, I already did that. Did, did he throw out a spatula and I just didn't see it? Oh, wait, it's probably when we return the, the stuff to Squidward 
Squidward gives us. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Hey, Larry. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Okay, that's your voice. Cool. Awesome. All right, so you actually have your voice. It's really just Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man so far. I'm interested to see if Barnacle Boy has his. And away we go. All right, Squidward, here you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Hey. And we there we go. We have 100% completion in jellyfish fields. Hey. Look at us. All right. So, 100% completion here except for yeah, we don't have all the socks. And I don't know where all the socks are. I missed six of them. Seems like quite a few of them required like abilities that I don't have. I haven't yet decided if I'll get all the socks or not. We'll see. It really just depends on you know, how easy it is for me to remember to come back and get them all. But if I basically just have to go back through each level and redo it once, once I unlock all the abilities, that is. So, Bubble Buddy, will you give me some, like, new bubble abilities so I can do some cool stuff if I talk to you? Don't forget to defeat robots or tiggies that are directly above you. Okay, no, you're just reminding me. I thought maybe we could talk to them and, like, get some stuff, but no. All right, Mr. Krabs, I want that spatula. So, do you want to trade shiny up that quality craftsmanship, that is? Come again. All righty. Here we go, 11. Do you have another one? So, do you that? Yep. There we go. So 12 spatulas so far. I'd say we're doing pretty well for the third episode of this. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, and I will see you next time.